Every Dollar is one of the simplest yet most effective budgeting apps, and today I'm going to show you how to use it. Hey there, I'm Brittany Flammer, a financial coach with videos all about budgeting and money saving tips for you and your family. You can use Every Dollar on the web or you can use it through the app on your phone. I personally think it's easiest to set it up on your computer, but once it's set up and you've got your budget ready to go, then I pretty much only use it on the phone. So today I'm going to show you how to do both. When you first get started with a brand new account, they're going to ask you a bunch of questions. For today's purpose, I'm just going to skip these. I have created a brand new account so I can show you exactly what it'll look like when you are starting to create your budget, but then I will hop on over to my actual account and show you what it looks like with all the transactions. It automatically comes with some set categories, but you can change them and adapt to you and your specific budget. We start with income because without income, you have nothing to budget. You, to change it, we can just click right here and rename it. So we'll say my husband's paycheck, and let's say he gets paid once a month, and it is $5,000. Obviously, the more accurate you are, the better it will be for your budget. For this purpose, I'm just putting in some round numbers to make it easy. Um, let's say I get paid twice a month. And the first time it's $500 and the next time it's $500. Doing it on the phone is very similar. You simply tap what you want to edit the category, you'll double tap and you can type in there to change the name or the amount. If you want to delete a category, you can swipe and click the delete button or you can click on the category and select delete. If you want to rearrange things, you can click on a category, hold it and drag it to where you want it to go. Next in their prearranged budget is giving. This is based on Dave Ramsey, principle of giving 10%. Most uh, most financial experts recommend this. You do whatever you want. If you don't want to do any giving, you click on it and select delete the group. If you do want to give, let's say I'm going to give to our church and I'm going to do $1,000. If you would like to be the most accurate as possible, then you want to set the due date. I'm going to say on the first of the month and I want it to repeat every single month. So I'm going to set the due date. You don't have to set what date you want the money for these categories by, but it makes it more accurate if you do. This budget comes with the preset categories. If you want to rearrange them, you simply click and drag it however you want. If you want to do your fixed bills first, you can drag it right up here. You can rearrange them. You can delete categories. You can add. So let's say I want to add dog walker. <laughs> I don't know. For example, I just add it in there. And if I want to delete something, click on it trash can to delete it. Um, so you can customize it, personalize it as much as you want. One of the features I really like with every dollar is you can do funds. So these are like sinking funds. So if you want the money to roll over each month, you can create a fund. Let me show you, for example, under savings, they have an emergency fund. So let's say if it has this little piggy bank right there, that means it is a fund. So, I can set the fund detail. So let's say I have $15,000 in my savings account, in my emergency fund, and that is my goal. So I have it fully funded. I'm just gonna click save. And what will happen is that $15,000 will roll over each month. Um, but let me add another item. Let's say life insurance. We pay yearly so it's like 800 something dollars. So every month I want to put $69 into life insurance. So I have that, but I want it to add up each month until I pay. So I just click on it and then over here I can set it as a fund. So I'll make it a fund. My original balance, let's say I don't have anything. My target amount, I can't remember, it's like 830, whatever 69 times 12 is. I'll save it. So this is for March. In April, it will carry over. It will already have $69 at the beginning of the month. And then I'll add another $69 to it. Um, and if you see the little piggy bank right there, means it is a fund. And you can do this with really any category. I like that because your regular budget's not gonna roll over, but your funds will roll over. 
If you're on the phone and want to turn a category into a fund, you simply click on that category and you will select make it a fund and go ahead and do it that way. Now, every dollar is a zero based budget. The whole point of a zero based budget is to get your budget down to zero. So you plan where every dollar is going to go, hence the name every dollar. So if it's gray, it's telling you how much you have left to budget. Let's say my mortgage is $7,000. It is going to turn red if I've overspent. So I'm gonna have to adjust somewhere. And once you've got everything down to zero, it'll be green with a check mark saying that you are a zero based budget, which is the goal. Now, you can pause this video, go ahead and finish filling out your budget, customizing it. I'm gonna go ahead and now I'll switch over to my actual every dollar account and show you how to work all the transactions. Now here's what my budget looks like now that I've customized it. You can see I've got income, giving, and then I have fixed bills, and then our variable bills, and then our savings. So you can arrange it however works for you. Everything I've showed you up till now is the same whether you're using the free version or the premium. Now with every dollar you can buy the premium if you buy it pay for the year, it's $80 for the entire year. Um, there are a few differences. The main difference between the two is with the premium version, you can link your bank and credit card accounts and they will automatically import your transactions. With the free version, you have to manually enter in every single transaction. Also, there is a new feature called the Paycheck Planner, which essentially you put your due date and it helps you, it helps show you what risk you are running out of money. If you are looking for a completely free budgeting app that will link to your bank or credit card accounts, then check out my video. I'll put a link in the description box and I'll have it playing up on the screen at the very end of this video on the best budgeting apps. Some of them are free and will link your accounts. In fact, I will show you what the paycheck planning looks like. If you click on it, you can keep a buffer. So like we like to have, we actually like to have a thousand dollar buffer in our checking account. And then when you enter in the due dates for all of your bills, it will, it will automatically list them by their due dates. And then it's going to show you how close you are to running out of money. Now for the transactions, whether you have the free or the premium version, if you want to manually enter a transaction, you click on this little plus sign and you type in how much it was. So let's say I spent $25 at Walmart and it came out of my grocery budget. So I'm just gonna click and look, it's showing me I only have $22 left. So I spent 25, so now I'm going to be over budget. So if I come to my groceries, it's automatically gonna calculate everything for me. I planned on spending 70, but now with all of my transactions that I've already entered in, I've spent 702, so I've gone over. So I can toggle here between spent and remaining. So it's showing me for restaurants, I have $25 left, but for groceries, I'm over $2.50. Now, if you've got the premium version and you want to link accounts, then you can come over here to the accounts tab, and this shows what I've already got, but if you want to add another account, you can just type search for whatever you have. So say you have Capital One. Um, you'll click on it and then it's going to ask you for your login information for Capital One. You're going to type it in. It's secured usually through Plaid. You'll type in your username and password and it will link that to your account. One disclaimer is every dollar does not work with American Express. This is Dave Ramsey who does not believe in credit cards, so American Express does not work. Now we do use credit cards, but our credit card, like Capital One, is one of our credit cards and that's used at a bank. So it's worked for all my credit cards, but American Express does not work. For transactions, if you've got the premium account, they will automatically import your transactions, but they will not automatically categorize them. It, the transactions will show up green or blue. Green means it's income, money coming in. Blue means it's an expense. So if we just click on the transactions tab, that 117 means I have 117 transactions that I have not categorized. Now, every dollar automatically imports your transactions, but it will not categorize them for you. And that is on purpose. So let's see right here, the divvy up this, I click on it to categorize it. This was clothing that I bought for my kids. So I will scroll down. Ooh, I don't have a clothing, kid stuff. We'll pull that out, kid stuff and it will automatically take that money out of that account. And if I'm up here, so now I only have 116 transactions, I can click on tracked and I will see the transactions that I just tracked. If I want to delete one, I just click on the, the trash can and it will delete that. And then if I accidentally deleted it and I didn't really mean to, I'll just come over to the deleted tab 
and it'll add it back. Now also, let's say you have several in the same category. So these were all the same. I click on one and choose the category I want it to come out of. On the phone, that number at the bottom shows you how many transactions you have that are not categorized. And you can scroll, click on that number and then scroll through the transactions right there um, to categorize them. Or if you don't wanna do it there, you click on the X to take you out and then you can click on the transactions tab and it will give you more options there. So you can click on the item to categorize it or if you select them, you can select several at once to categorize all of them. If you want to delete, you can just swipe it and click the delete button there. On the phone, once you have categorized it, it will be grayed out and it'll show you what category you put it in. The feature I really like is a summary tab and it gives you a visual on all of your expenses. So this will categorize based on the categories you have in your budget, by the groups of categories you have. And so you can see here, the red is the largest and that's my fixed bills at 41%. If I come over to the purple, that's our savings goes 18%. On the phone, this is called insights. If you click on insights, you can toggle between all of those. Your budget, you can copy from month to month. So the very first time you set it up, it takes quite a bit of time. And I highly recommend being as exact as possible, setting the due dates. Um, but then after that, it takes just a few minutes every month. I seriously don't spend more than five minutes on our budget for the month. Here's that video I mentioned right up there about the different budgeting apps, some of which are free and will link your bank to your bank accounts. Um, otherwise, let me know in the comments down below what features you like about every dollar or if you have any specific questions. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.